yeah, we recorded this and then thought mm, we need a disclaimer. We need a disclaimer. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Look, guys, this all all we're talking about here are ideas for a fantasy setting to go into like a role playing game. This is not we. Don't, this is not our thoughts. We're not. This is we not, not what we think. The, we're just reading wacky stories on the internet. Please don't come after us, the Clinton campaign or anybody else. <laughs> look, Thank look, you. Look, YouTube, look, we, we're being serious this time. We just want to talk about it, okay? Yeah, please, please don't hurt don't us. Hurt us. Uh, let's get into this one. Conspiracy theories that would make for a good campaign. What dumb conspiracy theories have you heard that would make for a good RPG campaign? Can be any system and any tone. I think you can make a fun campaign based around the dumb shit that comes from flat earthers. The PCs are a group of government operatives who are sent to explore the hostile and alien lands beyond the great ice walls. The reason that the flat earth is covered up is because beyond the ice wall is a land of utter madness only held at bay by ancient and failing technology. The less people know, the less powerful the entities of the beyond are. That's quite That's, good. Uh, that is very good. Yeah. It's kind of giving me Icewind Deal vibes mm-hmm. from that new campaign book that came out like back in October. Yeah. That uh, does sound Sounds like cool. Sounds very good, yeah. Yeah, there's so much you could do with this. Like, you know, just conspiracy theories in general. I love them. Like, you I know, love conspiracy I, I love theories. a good conspiracy theory. Now, I'm not one to buy into that no, many. But I just but love But I, th- I think they're a lot of fun. You know yeah. what I mean? They're a lot of fun to speculate. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to talk about fucking anything. And, like, you know, this video does not represent anything that we think, YouTube. <laughs> we are not going to talk about QAnon. We're not going to no! talk about any mad stuff. All right. This is not the representation. This is not our thoughts. <laughs> yeah. The Greys and the Reptilian people keep meeting. Slave races placed or bred on Earth by the Draconians and the Nordics. They've been working out a series of tunnels under the US connected to hidden subterranean bases like Dulles ever since Eisenhower sold the site <laughs> <laughs> and gave over the portion of the population for experimentation and food. All these aliens and the Illuminati are trying to use one another to gain soul domination over Earth because Earthlings are the only people that have souls. <laughs> what, are, what the fuck are we reading? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I think it can make for a fun campaign setting. Just don't take it too seriously, you know? The reptilians are trying to become human, hence the shape shifting. But they haven't found a method that works for their masters yet, so they're mostly being trying to replace prominent figures. The greys are trying to breed a whole new race of hybrid children. These indigo children are secretly a vital component of the Illuminati's plot to launch a new world order. Their plan is to take these psychic children who are connected to galactic ley lines due to their oh psychic God, powers <laughs> and round them up with a bunch of other Americans in secret internment camps where they will be slaughtered in mass. This will unleash a psychic scream that will wipe out all other life in the universe with the Illuminati ruling over the few humans they allow to remain as trianical gods, kings, using alien technology. Honestly, but... Why is it always in America? It it always is. But tell me this. Tell me that does not sound like a really good Cold Cthulhu setting. It does, It it does, doesn't it? I I could work with that. I think I could have a bit of fun with that. I'm really into, like, you know, the idea of, like, Google Occult, you know, like, I think... uh, What was that one? Far Cry? Do you remember Far Cry, the new one? Where they had... Your mom, and he oh, was like yeah. a cult leader, and yeah. it had like a lot of Waco vibes. You know, I would go for either that, or I would go like Reptilian the Glaze, the Illuminati. They're, oh, they're coming here to take over, and you, you gotta have the, Turn 70- the freaking frogs get. Yeah, exactly. You know, you need to have that <laughs> 1776 vibe going on as well, you know? The war is not real. Never was. It was carefully staged. The soldiers are all paid actors. The sworn enemy is the product of hundreds of man hours by specialized psychologist boards to ensure hateability and the right amount of fear but the government needs the war to keep the nation stable without it everything comes down oh that's just 1984 then isn't yeah. it like it, you know it's like oh we're, we're, we're Oceania and I can't remember the, the, yeah. the, and they keep swapping it about is that an actual conspiracy <laughs> well like you know false flags are a little popular conspiracy and they have been for the past what like 10 years I think you know so the idea imagine, of like, so this imagine is like a fu- actually thinking that like the great wars were not a thing it honestly doesn't sound that shocking though whenever you hear some of the more recent ones like let's be serious in the past couple of years it's kind of exploded the recent ones but I'm on about like World War 1 World War 2 hmm. imagine actually not thinking they're real the only thing I can think of that's kind of close to this that's happened is during the Crusades I can't remember which one because like you know Crusades is t- so many of them <laughs> but you know like Richard uh, what was the name Richard it wasn't 
I can't remember what his second name was, but uh, the Christians believed that there was a Christian king on the other side of the Middle East, and they were invading from one side, and they were going to get them in like a big pincer movement. Oh, mate, yeah. Uh, but it turned out to just be like nomadic step step people. Oh, right. So like <laughs> Mongols. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not Christian, but you know that's the only one I can think of that like, you know was a popular thought. You know that came about. Huh. You know, do you guys have anything like that? Like you know something that was like really big that people really believed that didn't turn out to be true. Yeah, the world ending in twenty twelve. Oh well, that that was that was a meme that got out of hand. <laughs> Same with Y two K. Let's be serious. Everything Alex Jones has ever said was one hundred percent non metaphorical truth. <laughs> Are you a bad enough, dude, to embrace the human spirit, destroy the extra dimensional elite globalist psychic vampire child rapists, <laughs> and teach the frogs how to man up again? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though. It does sound like a fun campaign. It does sound it like does, a fun campaign. I, I would love, I would love to have D, uh, Alex Jones be my DM. Like it would be Could a mess. Fuck it, it, it would, would be, be an a complete mess. mess. Like you know, you can never keep up with him. No. You'd be too far. You would start like doing I all this. I love him. Uh he's he's comic gold. I love him. I think I, he, I think he is. He really. is pure comic gold. Yeah. I like, absolutely like, love him. I know. Like you know, when it comes to like you know, I don't listen to a word that he says, but yeah. it's just him in yeah. general. I could sit and watch all day uh, he's, he's entertainment that's oh, why I, I view entertainment. him as entertainment and he makes solid memes oh yeah I kind of have plans for a light novel series where a guy dies and wakes up in a fantasy world healed as the one who will kill the dread demon lord and picks up a harm of lovely ladies along the way as he learns to fight and do magic on their trip however it's all a reality TV show he fell asleep on a bus and got whisked away to the largest TV studio ever made and is surrounded purely by actors. Everything is animatronic and special effects. However, as it turns out, the producer of the show is the real Demon Lord, and rather than destroy the land he wanted to take over, he suggested this as a means to an end. If the hero wins the TV show, he'll take it that the side of good has won and leave, and if he loses, he'll get the world as spoils without having to fire a shot. It's all going well until the hero actually manages to conjure a fireball. That's pretty cool. I and actually like that. I hope it's very that. Truman Show. Yeah, vibes. it is. It is Truman Show mixed with that. Remember that show, the one about the dog? Bolt. Yeah, Bolt. Yeah. Bolt was a good one. But uh, no, I really enjoy this. I hope the guy actually does write it. Yeah. I think it would be really cool. I'd be interested in That's picking that good. up. I'd pick it up anyway. Yeah, I'd pick it up. I could definitely check that out. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. My mum tells me shit that would make a fire world of darkness campaign. Politicians are cabals of dogmen, and mountains are the corpses of giants. She bases this entirely around the idea that vain and vain are similar words. (laughs) (laughs) Well, like, I can't, I can't fault I the logic. That. I can't fault <laughs> The hollow moon conspiracy theory would make for a good dungeon crawl. The moon is actually a giant spaceship inhabited by the degenerate remnants of aliens that seeded life on Earth. Oh, that's cool. That would like be that. very good. No, no, actually, you know what? You know what? I've got one better. Do you remember Wallace and Gromit when they go to the moon? Yeah. Can we just can we just have that instead? <laughs> the the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> I would, I would go. Really <laughs> I would go really enjoy that, like you know, with the robot Ooh, and stuff. Oh, and then the, the, the yeah, and the robots chasing you in the entire time. <laughs> yes, no, that's perfect. It's either that or space Nazis on the moon. One or the other. I prefer the Wallace and Gromit one personally. <laughs> Humans raped Neanderthals and other humanoids to death. Honestly, it's viable. Probably, I really like Sam Manel's video on it. Sam Manel, yeah, yeah, with the sexy Neanderthal theory. <laughs> it was actually really good. Check yeah. it out. Check it out. I'll link it down below. The human placenta rather forcibly taps into the bloodstream and has a back and forth battle of hormones with the mother. Modern day, this is inconvenient, but only because human women were built for it. Neanderthal women were not. The human baby would essentially mind rape the non-human mother from inside her own body through hormone control. After the baby was born, the placenta would leave chemicals that essentially made members of the mother's species unable to impregnate her. 
There are thousands of species on Earth that died out because humans took their women and made them unable to have human children. The truth is, humans are an alien bioweapon made to eliminate other sapient life forms. And our creators are coming back to take over now that their, our job is done. Oh, that's quite good. That's quite good. You know, I've that, never heard of that before. Well, it kind of it, it's giving me the same vibes as do you remember Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yeah. where um, Earth is just a colony for the endangered species of mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. I kind of like that idea. Actually, when, but you know. I've never heard of that before. I um, don't. Well, I know. Well, like, you know what? Like, is obviously, it? we don't know if it's true or not but um you know it's not that far-fetched it doesn't sound too far-fetched to me anyway mm. like you know i do like that idea and we do know like you know well what is it like you know whenever you're fucking neanderthal i think it's the females like you know if you give birth to a female um if it was like a cross you, no, species is it not something it you be... can you can impregnate they can they they could impregnate a female but a male neanderthal couldn't impregnate I... um it might be. I'm not too sure. I like the. I, I. I went more for the idea of. I thought it was whenever, like you know, if it was a cross species, mm-hmm. if it was a female that uh, was born, it was fertile. But if it was a male, they were infertile. infertile. Um, I don't really know. It's one of those ones. I'm really into Neanderthals. I love. Well, we done a 23 and Me test. Let's see how much Neanderthals are in us. <laughs> 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 I say James has 70. <laughs> percent <laughs> Well, look, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know. We might do a video on it when the yeah. when it comes back, but it takes weeks. Anyway, look, on to the next post. Burger Punk, Clinton Foundation Street Samurai Rove, the burned out remnants of the cities, manipulating the mobs to attack political targets. Elites are all deluded geriatrics <laughs> who still think it's 1972 and get daily injections of adrenochrome. Megan, I thought we were talking about conspiracies here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is hard <laughs> truth. <laughs> like, you know, this, 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 this specific line is a bit too much for me. The wealthy and obedient live in gated suburbs with rainbow painted hunter killer drones. <laughs> <laughs> That's like again, again. I thought this was supposed to be like you know conspiracy <laughs> okay. theories. Fat subcon commissars police your every thought through smart home appliances. Once again, that that doesn't sound too far <laughs> into the realm of possibility. If your social credit score falls too low, you get thrown out of your pod to make your way in the sprawl, and all your neighbor neighbors have to clap. <laughs> Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think that that does sound like for a good the imagination of like you know like any like second punk guest, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the imagination. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm just saying, guys. I had to, <laughs> like I had to get rid of the fucking uh, Alexa from the house one day because I was just getting like, no, this no. shit's listening to be too much. Out you go. You're going in the fucking bin. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> The magic and psychic powers often seen in occultism and conspiracies are all real. For the first time in history, the veil has slipped on a global scale due to the world-leading elite getting cocky with their satanic rituals, and it's up to the players to either find a way to undo all of it, or, at the very least, find a way to subdue the worst parts of it as the world descends into magical and psychic chaos. Mate, that's just birth, and that's how Eldar started. That's how the Dark Eldar came into being. <laughs> Are you looking to summon Sklanesh? <laughs> that sounds like how you summon Sklanesh, boys. Just saying. I've never really dug into any theories, but I like reading about what causes them psychologically. It's pretty interesting, to be honest. It usually boils down to a person being unable to handle a certain idea in some shape or form. Yeah, actually. Yeah. That, that's that's a, that's probably the best way I've heard it. I put it into words, yeah. No, yeah. that's actually really good. It's usually one of these things, or more, working together. That the universe is chaos and incredibly large historical events can be caused by literally the dumbest things. That's scary, so things must have been an organised plot. Such as Franz Ferdinand's car broke down in front of the sandwich shop, the one assassin in a locally based plot to kill him that day, who basically called in sick, was eating at. Throw in a cluster of fuck off old alliances and bam, the war to end all wars. To be fair though, the plot to kill Franz Ferdinand was a mess. Like, you know, they really fucked it up and like, you know, they had so many chances to kill him and then they fucked it up and then the driver fucked it up again Conti- like it, it was just like it, it was it was almost like a scooby d episode <laughs> that's what it, that's what it I would it, what it would put your mind yeah up. that's kind of what it gives me anyway there's also the sunk cost fallacy you've based a considerable amount of effort into something only to see the truth but then you would have to admit you were wrong and the effort was wasted so nope double downtime. it is a feat beyond your scope of understanding so it must be impossible 
So they must have done something to fake it, i.e. moon landings. Yes. Or flat earth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Last but not least, they want to be in on a secret knowledge or fact that yes. only you have. Yes. yes, that's yeah, no, definitely. Proving you are superior and mostly importantly special. See, right, there's this one that I almost buy into, right? And that's the whole thing with the flat earthers. So with flat earthers, as you can see with them, they do get an awful lot of hatred and stigma thrown at them. And that almost makes me think, are they are they a ploy? Like, you know, of course no one could actually believe in being a flat earther. Yeah. So therefore, are they making people, like, making, and creating that conspiracy theory just to discredit... Take off some... Or discredit I, someone that, else? Am I... Am I... Is am it, I like, yeah, to discredit stuff? other conspiracy theories? Or something... That's... I thought because, that because as well. Flat because Earth is just so ridiculous in my mind. Flat Earthers are... It's ridiculous. I, I, can't, I can't... I'm sorry. I just can't get behind. No, that, see, that, can that and chemtrails, holy good fuck. Like, you know, chemtrails like, can go and suck like, like, you know, like All I'm saying is, when it comes to chemtrails, there's easier ways to poison you, i.e. <laughs> yeah. the water. The water. Yeah, like, come on. But no, I, I wouldn't be one to buy into it. But I do... But you get, get what I'm trying to say, where, though. Are they putting these out to make conspiracy theorists look, oh, look at these fucking weirdos yeah. over here. When on the other hand, there's some conspiracies that just make so much sense. Yeah, there's some bits that are like, hold, hold, can you guys hold up there? Like, like you know, no, can you, can go you back and stop? rewind and say that to me again because I don't want to believe this. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's yeah, it is almost like you know, can we can we can we turn back time? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to have. Can I, can I take the blue pill, please? I just want. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to eat steak. Yeah. I just want to go back to the meat because I want to eat the steak and be happy <laughs> yes. and not and not be involved in any of this stuff. <laughs> But, like, I think this is where we're going to end because we've been rambling that long. I don't know. I think when it comes to conspiracies, as I said, I don't really buy into no. many of them at all, really. No, like, you know, personally. I know, I know. And, of course, like, we're talking about this sort of stuff, so you know finally like, YouTube's going to fucking... Yeah, you know what so, I mean? If you could check out the models, it would help yeah, us out a lot. Yeah, that would help us out. You know it means I mean? we can do more videos like this. Yeah, exactly. And I like doing stuff like this. And while you're here... Write down below what you think about it. Yeah, what 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 conspiracy things, conspiracy theories do you think could make for a really good campaign? Yeah, like you know, I I would really I would really enjoy something like this. Yeah, but as always, guys, check out all the links. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell and notification so you get notified every time we post. Helps us out a lot. Yep, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.